Cage Minds, Micah Frankel at the Jackson Wing Gym with Christian Edward ahead of Bellator 266. Thank you for the time, sir. How's camp been for this one? No, it's been good, man. I'm uh, I'm doing well. I feel great, and um, you know I'm ready to put on the performance of my career in this next fight. Third time you've been matched up with Ben Parrish. The first time was a wild situation. Can you touch on that a little bit? Uh, yeah, the first time uh, I had a doctor for the commission that I was fighting under. He said that my heartbeat was irregular after I just got through cutting weight. You know, it was the morning of weigh-in. And, you know, it was kind of a, a silly situation because, you know, I just feel like I didn't get a chance to rehydrate or replenish myself like we normally do. So it was kind of weird. But um, then the second time, you know, Ben ended up getting COVID and uh, Simon Beyond stepped in on his place, in his place. And, um, yeah, you know, now third time to charm, hopefully. So the last fight, short notice opponent, extremely short notice. And you go with the decision. How do you feel about that fight? You know, honestly. Honestly, I, I felt really good about that fight. You know, like I, I look at what I did good and I look at what I did bad. And I always go back and watch it at least a hundred times after the fight. And I feel like I did really good. I actually uh, don't have too much bad things to say about the performance. You know, I feel like I could have gotten the finish in the first round possibly. But I just didn't, uh, I didn't want to take an unnecessary risk because I've seen people, you know, knock people out while they're really rocked. You know what I mean? Check Congo, Pat Berry kind of stuff. So, you know, I didn't want to take any unnecessary risk, but overall I feel like I did well. And uh, I don't have anything bad to say about my performance, honestly. At this point, a 5 and 0, how much of the toolbox do you feel you've even had to reach into? Honestly, I, I feel like I've shown a little bit of everything, you know what I mean, at this point in my career. Like, I've shown that I can wrestle, like in my Marco Hutch fight and in my uh, Hamza Salim fight. I've, I've shown I can strike well, you know, in my pretty much all my fights. Really, and I've shown that I'm strong in the clinch. I, I have great jujitsu and grappling, you know. And I, I feel like I'm only getting better, you know. So as the the fights continue to um, stack up, you know, I'm gonna show everything that I learned in here, and it's gonna um, it's really gonna be evolve. Like the uh, evolve process is gonna go, go beautifully. Is there almost a hunger to get this fight done by now? This is three times to get this out of the way because there's been so many bumps in the road to make this fight happen again. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, I I definitely, you know, because three times is enough, if you ask me. I mean, I, if, if this one doesn't go through, pray to God that it does. But if this one doesn't go through, like, I mean, at this point, I just got to, you know, look at somebody else as an opponent, you know what I mean? So praying that this one goes through because I've thought about this fight a lot, you know, in the past. And I've thought about, you know, well, hurting this guy a lot of, you know, and I want to uh, get another W. And if Ben is my next opponent, then so be it. He's just another W. For me. Is there any mental or camp fatigue from three consecutive camps on the same guy? No, not really. I mean, you know, because like, I know that I can compete and not just compete with, but beat anybody in the light heavyweight division in Bellator. So Ben is just, you know, another, uh, of course, I'm not overlooking him or anything like that, but um, he's just someone that's in my way right now. And, you know, it's not, you know, like, I don't overthink who my opponent is. I just go in there and I trust in my coaches and I trust in my skill set. Talking about that performance, elevating your skill set. What's the next yeah! The next thing that we're going to yeah! see from Christian Edwards? Yeah! Um, honestly, man, I, I really feel like after this next one, I'm going to move on to really start facing like top 10 guys, you know what I mean? Because I am a top 10 guy myself, so it only makes sense for me to fight top 10 guys. So whoever that may be, you know, um, but I, I really believe after this one, I'm, I'm going to start facing top 10 guys for sure. How much intrigue do you have in the main event of the card? Right there talking about top 10 guys, Shalom Romero, they're going to be right there kind of intriguing. Does that mean event to you? It's, uh, it's very intriguing just to see where, you know, they fall in the light heavyweight division, both of them, you know, because um, I feel like I could be either one of those guys, truly. But, you know, honestly, if Yoel wins, then, you know, he's 
43 and has already got one foot out the door anyway, so my chances of fighting him probably are pretty slim to none, you know. What I mean? But Phil Davis, I do see as a potential future opponent, and you know, if, if there comes a day where we have to fight, then I'll, I'll finish him and I'll finish anybody else in the light heavyweight division. You're ranked, but as you said, not fighting ranked guys yet. Have you still been keeping a close eye then to all the Grand Prix fights? Yeah, I definitely have, a, a, especially, you know, the Dean Nemkov just because he's the champion right now. Um, so I always, you know, watch those fights carefully and closely and just realize that, you know, these are all guys that are in my way of realizing my goal of being the light heavyweight champion. So, you know, I, uh, I look at them and I watch them, but it's nothing that I don't believe with a good camp and the right coaches in my corner, I couldn't easily defeat those guys. You know, well, not easily, but you know, I could definitely defeat those guys. What is it that makes Christian Edwards at the same level as these veteran fighters right now? You still progressing? It's honestly, it's the fact that I'm, I'm driven, I'm motivated, I'm hungry, and I'm constantly getting better. I'm never, I'm never gonna settle for anything other than improving and getting better. Like that's where I feel like I have an advantage over all these guys that have been fighting in the UFC and Bellator for like for how many years? Ryan Bader, Phil Davis, freaking Corey Anderson, all those guys. You know, like they had their time to, you know, execute and they they didn't. You know, and now it's just you know a matter of letting the young up and comers like myself do. You know, well make their mark in the MMA world just like they did. You know, back in whatever year they were big fighters. You know what I mean? How do you have that confidence? Well, I'm just, you know, I believe in myself, I believe in my coaches, and I know that, like, I know what I'm capable of, you know, I know, I, like, I know my own resume, you know what I mean, I know what I'm capable of, I, and I believe in myself, you know, self-belief, you know, otherwise, if I wasn't in this to be the best, why would I do it, you know? What is there to yet to be seen for us, the public? Um... Honestly, I think in this fight you're gonna really see more um, aggression. You know what I mean? Like I think with this fight and how I've been training and preparing for it, and how Coach Wink has been telling me that my pressure makes a lot of people fold, especially here in the in you know Jackson Wink where I'm going with UFC light heavyweights, UFC middleweights, UFC heavyweights, Bellator heavyweights. You know, like all of them, you know what I mean, say my pressure is ridiculous when I turn it up, like it's it's pretty, you know, scary, you know, so if I have to say that there's one thing that you haven't seen from me yet, it's my aggression, I'm, I'm going to be very aggressive in this fight, and I believe I'm going to finish him in the first or second round. Christian Edwards, thank you for your time, sir. I appreciate you.